Welcome to Living Fuel TV. This is Casey Krejci. A good night's sleep. If that were a pill, we would all buy it. We all know the importance of a good night's sleep, but for some reason, we'll give up our sleep for virtually any reason. We'll stay up a little later to watch TV, watch a game, go out with our friends. We'll do anything that is trivial and, and lose our sleep and try to make it up on the other side. In the past, years ago, 100 years ago, People will go to bed after the sun goes down because they had, you know, lanterns to, to light the place. But the advent of the light bulb let us burn the candles at both ends. And this is a terrible thing because it's causing adrenal stress. It's causing people to, to drive in a way that's worse than as if they were intoxicated with alcohol. It's, there are a lot of negative health consequences to sleep. Increased cortisol level or to lack of sleep. Now sleep itself, well, sleep deprivation was a wartime torture. Literally, they would, in, the, in these wars for torture, they would keep people awake for days on end, throwing water on them, slapping them around, keeping light in their face. And once people are sleep deprived enough, they become demented. They would almost tell you anything that you want to know. So it is a very important thing that you manage your sleep. Now we know that eight hours is a good number. Eight hours of sleep. Most of us are not getting that. And if you have less than six and a half hours sleep, the research shows that you have a dramatically higher chance of being overweight. And if you're overweight, you have a lot of other potential health consequences. So there are so many things associated with getting a good night's sleep. So try this. Try not having caffeine after noon in the day. Try not having anything to drink within three hours of going to bed to minimize the getting up in the middle of the night to have to go to the bathroom clean up your environment where you sleep so that you don't have clutter around because clutter causes subconscious confusion and then make sure there's absolutely no light in your room get dark shades take turn the night lights off uh, put something over the clock that's, bl that's blaring in your face because light tends to block melatonin production melatonin is the sleep hormone restoration hormone huge antioxidant in the body and most people are not getting enough melatonin because they're not getting enough sleep and then melatonin tends to decline later in life so you combine that with the lifestyle habits of being on the computer really late or TV or some other kind of stimulation right up until bedtime and you find that people are not only not sleeping enough but they're not getting enough quality sleep. Now being overweight also causes sleep problems like sleep apnea and so on so getting your weight under control is a very important aspect of this and then if you want to try some things to give you a, a, a hand, to give you an assist to get to sleep and have a better night's sleep, trying some melatonin starting with a half a milligram one night because some people are really sensitive, up to six milligrams in a night. But I would try one and the way you tell whether or not if you have enough melatonin or, or too much melatonin is when you wake up the next day you feel really groggy for just a few minutes if you took too much. But start on the low side and work your way up. The other two things that are really helpful are theanine, T-H-E-A-N-I-N-E, -E, which is an amino acid, L-theanine, uh, and taking one to 300 milligrams at, at, at bedtime or an hour before bedtime is really the best time to take these, these supplements. And then also uh, uh, L5-hydroxytryptophan, 5-HTP, which is a downstream uh, amino acid from the amino acid tryptophan, which you, you always hear about when you eat too much turkey, you get tired. The truth is you eat too much apple pie, you get tired, too much stuff and you get tired. But people want to talk about tryptophan because it is known to help you sleep. So the, try these things and get a better night's sleep. God bless you and have a great day.